Colorectal cancer actually develops from polyps. Uh, polyps are small growths in the intestine. And as over time, as the growths grow larger and larger, this is what we call a, a polyp to cancer sequence. So you have uncontrolled cell growth, which slowly invades not just the lining of the intestine, but it invades into the muscle and eventually becomes a, a cancer which can spread to the rest of the body. So it takes about five to 10 years for the different uh, mutations of the DNA to add up for it to eventually become cancer. Each first degree relative that increases, um, that has colorectal cancer, actually doubles your risk. Now what's even better is if we can diagnose and detect polyps and remove them before they turn into cancer. And I know a lot of people are very worried about, you know, is it painful? Will I be awake? Am I aware during the scope? Um, essentially, what conscious sedation means is that um, you are still able to support your own breathing, your heart rate, your respiratory rate is all stable, and yet you are kept very comfortable and unaware of the entire procedure. This instrument, which is a wire cutter that's attached to an energy device, and we loop it around the polyp and snug it tight right at the base of the polyp. And what we do is then apply the, the heat energy device to then burn and cut through it. So it's quite rare for the small intestines to have any issues. Now there are scopes that are specifically for the small intestines, uh, but this is not commonly done um, and only done if patients perhaps present with things like bleeding and we need to find out where the bleeding is from. And we've already checked the stomach and the large intestines and there's no issues and no problems. The risk of issues or problems or cancer or polyps developing from the small intestine is actually extremely, extremely rare. So we don't really see that many patients that require these kind of investigations. But yes, we can scope them. We can do a CT scan or MRI. We can, but again, it's not common.